Okay, art teachers, this story time is for you. This one was a hard one for me to read. My heart goes out to this teacher. I wish her healing. I wish her all of the things. Um, so let's hear her story. So I have a story on why I left teaching and will never go back. We got a new student during virtual learning during COVID. The student was easily distracted, would always draw whatever he wanted, not the class assignment. I was the art teacher for a K through eight school. I thought, hey, at least he's drawing. Well, cut to in-person teaching and we were three weeks into the new school year. I had his class first period two days a week. I received no paperwork on him for an IEP or otherwise. I had this particular class since they were in kindergarten and they were now in fifth grade, so I knew them all pretty well. It was a Friday morning at 9 a.m. This student was sitting at a table by himself. Another student came with a late pass and I sat him across from the student. Less than five minutes later, unprovoked, the new student grabbed the late student's glasses off his face and crushed them like they were made of sand. A fight ensued. As other students tried to get up and break it up, as I was texting admin, I figured I didn't have time and it would turn into a class brawl. I got up and just stood in the middle. The new kid just beat the living crap out of me, kicking me, slamming me into tables. I now have permanent nerve damage to my dominant wrist and ankle. The social worker eventually told me that the new student has severe anger and mental issues, but I was not privileged to that information because I was only the art teacher. My principal was convinced that I was faking my injuries and spread nasty rumors about me to anyone and everyone who would listen because at the time we thought they were all sprains and it was my driving ankle and when I said I didn't feel comfortable driving and what would happen if I got into an accident driving on a sprained ankle who would pay for my insurance, she tried as hard as she could to bully me to go back to work ASAP because we were short on subs. When in reality, the damage was way worse. I can't draw or paint for more than 20 minutes at a time and that is after eight months of physical therapy. There is no way I would be able to do it for a full school day. I am currently in workers' comp court, and of course, that is taking forever. But my 15-year career that I loved went down the drain in less than five minutes. And come to find out, the same student set a fire in the school months later and never got in trouble for it. Just a juice and a bag of chips. So this one is just crushing to read because, you know, these teachers, this is their passion. And then you have an art teacher who has two passions, teaching and art. And now she can't do either. She didn't receive the the information that she needed to support this student fully or just be prepared for a worst case scenario. Teaching has become, for lack of a better term, dangerous in some instances, many instances. And it shouldn't be that way. It just shouldn't. <laughs> My heart goes out to this teacher. Again, wish her continued healing and that she's able to pursue her passions. And I'm so thankful that she shared her story with me and that she allowed me to share it with you. These things need to be brought to the surface and it's good to bring awareness to these types of things so that people understand what's really going on out there. Thank you to this person.